1968 Yashica Lynx 5000E. Let's check it out. So, we're back in the studio, but we're gonna do this. Yeah, black and white is the go. So this is a rangefinder camera. What does that mean is that this is the viewfinder and it doesn't go through the lens and you achieve focusing using a rangefinder. Here's how it works. Look at this reenactment of your viewfinder and see the bright patch in the center? This is your rangefinder window and now it's in focus. Look, both images are perfectly superimposed. Out of focus, in focus. Out of focus, in focus. Can't get easier than that. Shutter speeds range from 1 second to 1 over 1000. It doesn't look like much these days, but back in the day, like this Minolta, they were capping at 1 over 500. And on the back side of the camera, you get this sticker. Let's read it. Please press the switch in front to find out the correct exposure. Please? What a distinguished gentleman. Yes, this camera has a meter. You get the switch in front of this, the electric eye in front of the camera, and through the viewfinder, you'll get these indicators under and over for underexposure and overexposure. When none of these indicators are lit up, it means that the correct exposure is achieved. Before you ask, no, these are not LEDs. These are actual light bulbs. And look at that, they're tiny light bulbs. And this is the circuit driving everything. Transistors. This circuitry is 56 years old and it works just fine. So, pretty reliable. This camera originally uses 640 mercury batteries, which are not available anymore, so I modded it with a diode. Modern day 640 alkaline batteries are available, but very hard to come by. My friend Andrea had to order them in early. So I got these adapters. Now I can use this camera with LR or SR44 batteries that are available everywhere for literally pennies. So on the lower part of the camera, you get this lever, which is a self-timer, and it is still working. Some of these cameras are a dead self-timer, but this one is uh, working fine. And on the other side, you get this switch, X and M. This is for the flash mode. X is for electronic. So unless you want to use this flash, keep it on X. The lens on this camera is a 45 mm 1.8, a Yashinon by Yashica, obviously. But this lens, sadly, is fixed. You cannot change it, which is not that big of a deal. It's a 45 mm it's a standard lens, so it's good for almost everything. On the other hand, the quality of this lens is on par with what you'll find with the best SLR lenses on the market. Just look at that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this lens. In fact, it's really sharp. It's one of the best lenses I've ever tried. But this is also a 1.8 maximum aperture lens. That means I'll be able to take pictures in low light situations, natural light, like, just like these. And remember, this is 1.8 and look at that, it's, it has plenty of details. Another cool feature on this camera is the leaf shutter. There is no flappy mirror to induce vibrations, so I was able to take pictures at a shutter speed of 1 15th of a second and it's pretty sharp. No camera shake. Yashica used to be a big name in photography. They made compacts, rangefinder, SLRs, TLRs, just like in my pictures here, but uh, they were not professional cameras. These were very high quality for Mr. Everyday, so this would have been the, the teacher's camera or the doctor's camera. A perfect camera to get good pictures without spending too much money onto an SLR or, God forbid, a TLR. This was literally an excellent camera for everyone who wanted to get started in photography back in the day. It's from 1968 and it looks gorgeous. I mean, look at that. This is literally a piece of beauty. I really like it. And that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video about the Yashica Lynx 5000E, an excellent camera with excellent results. Uh, stay tuned for more content about film photography and analog technology. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.